I can't believe this works. I'm using Perplexity AI to search for jobs, but not only search for jobs, to do research to figure out who the hiring manager is and connect me to them on LinkedIn. I ran this search. I'm gonna show you how this works and show you my prompt. And you can use this to find jobs for you and then ultimately find who the hiring manager is because you know how it is. You've got to find the manager as fast as you can. Find the person to talk to. If we haven't met before, my name is Jason Roberts. I'm a recruiter. I've been a recruiter for 25 years. Stick with me. We're going to dive into this right now. Before we get started, I want to invite you to a private beta for some software that I've built that takes some of the steps that we're going to do manually and just does that for you. So you upload a resume, it searches for jobs, it customizes your resume for each job and then applies for that job for you. So we've been building this for a little while. We're about ready to launch the beta in about a month. And I'm inviting you to join the waiting list. And you can do that at www.betterthing.ai. And I'll put a link up here for you. It's a free to try thing. You can go for it and apply to some jobs for free. All right, let's jump in. Okay, we're on Perplexity AI, and you can find that literally at perplexity.ai. It is one of the newer, I guess it's the lesser known tools that I know of, and it does a really good job of searching the internet. That's really its expertise, is internet search, but it also has this little button here called research. All right, so as you can see, I've reached my limit. I'm actually not a subscriber. I don't pay for pro for this one. So the things that we're going to look at, these are actually things that I did with a regular account. Now, I have a more robust prompt that I've come up with since this one, but basically here's what I asked for. I said, search for a job that fits the attached resume and look at each job posting for clues as to who the hiring manager might be, then conduct an x-ray search of LinkedIn to identify and provide links to the hiring manager's profile. Present back a list of jobs, your confidence level, and how good of a match this job is to the profile and the hiring manager's LinkedIn link and name, all right? My whole thing is I have a video that I will go ahead and link for you to right here, but it explains how to find the hiring manager. But I think these things can do it for us, and it did. So I'm not gonna run it live, but this is the resume that I put in. Don't worry, it's a fake name. And it did some analysis extracted information about the resume. I had just attached it and then found some potential job matches. So this is a recruiter level job. And what it did is it said, okay, Ronstad, Salt Lake City, this position appears to be an excellent match. And we get a link to the position right here. And then we can, we have this link to the hiring manager, right? So we can click the hiring manager's link. He's a principal recruiter at said Life Sciences. So that's a pretty decent guess. That's a pretty decent guess on who that might be, who might be the person. So he says, they say he's based in Chicago. He has extensive experience leadership, potentially be involved in the hiring process before, and but he could refer Lourdes to the right person in Salt Lake City. Basically saying, this is a starting point. Here's a person you can contact and maybe they can get you in touch with someone, right? So... It was able to, I think it gave me four results and one out of four, it gave, or it gave me three results, one out of three, it, it was able to find a hiring manager for, but actually my normal hit rate when I do this is probably 50, 50. What happens is people will leave little clues in the actual job description itself. And those little clues end up being things like this job reports to a certain person or it it's in a certain department. And then you go inside of LinkedIn. One thing that's really cool about this that you can check out is it tells you how it's thinking. And this is fascinating to me. It says, I'll start by performing a general web search for Ronstadt Senior. Now, I'm not sure why it started with Ronstadt, but it did. I'll now perform an x-ray search to identify LinkedIn profiles that match a hiring manager, senior recruiter role at Ronstadt. So it did that. And this is the actual search that it did. So this is what an x-ray search is, by the way. You cite colon linkedin.com slash in, and then the only results will be LinkedIn results. And so that's kind of cool. Then it read a few different people's names and said, all right, 
I don't think that's the right one, or I do think that's the right one. So it ended up giving me this Michael Anderson guy. Then it performs a web search for other people, and we get that. Then we go, now I'll fetch details of a senior recruiter job. So it goes and it fetches details of that job. And then I'll research for HR manager. So it's starting to expand. And I don't like this one. Like, I think that's probably not, well, I think Lourdes did on her resume have some HR manager stuff. So it started expanding that a little bit. But you see how cool this is. And then it's kind of done. It puts this big data dump out there, including a confidence level for the match. And then it goes through, what should I tell you? And how should I put it out there? And what do I put in there? And what's my final recommendation? So it's pretty cool, right? So there was a, in the resume, there was a human HR manager. There was some recruiting stuff. So there was a good mix. The recruiting job, 85% match. Branch recruiter was 70% match. So it said, I'm confident with this one, but not as confident with this other one. How cool is that? Then you get some strategy on how to search, right? Super cool. I love the way that it gives you the tasks, um, the sources. It says where it, what all the sources are and the links to all the places where it found results when it did its search. So you can go find those links and dig into those as a part of your job search. So I just, I think this is the coolest thing. I'm going to leave a link to a more robust version of a prompt for this. And it also has my other AI prompts that are free to you. Don't forget to sign up for the beta that just does some of this work for you. I think that's pretty cool. We've been working on it for a little while. It's trying to solve some problems people are asking me about. You know how it is. When you apply for jobs, it's a giant pain. You've got to apply to 200 jobs. First, you got to find jobs to apply to. Then you've got to apply to 200 and you've got to customize your resume for every single one. We try to streamline that by having AI just take the actions using these new things with an AI called agents. So this is an agentic tool for candidates, for people looking for jobs. I can't wait for you guys to try it out. And I'd love to hear your beta feedback. Until then, best of luck in your job search.